Hi everyone. Happy New Year's Day. Happy January. Um, it is winter, as we all know. Anyway, um, this is the first episode of the 2021 House Mouse Collaboration. Um, Stamp Girl and I are co-hosting the collab, and there are several other people that have joined in, and also we are dedicating this collaboration for the year to Gracie 21, who hosted this collab, I think it was two years ago, don't hold me to that, but I, I believe um, two years ago, and then Crafty Bean took it over from her, and then it kind of dropped, um, but several of us uh, have still wanted to do house mouse. Some people that are in the collab now were doing it on their own, just, you know, making cards whenever they wanted to. So I thought, why not make a collab again? And then we learned about Gracie's passing in, I think it was November of 2020. And at least that's when I found out late November, early December. So I'm not exactly sure, but, um, so, we're dedicating this to Grace because she loved these little house mouse stamps. So, anyway, this month, um, we have a theme every month, and this month it is Winter Fun. So, I made two cards this month, and um, the first one is, eh, okay, let me show you what I used for both of them first. Um, so, the first one, I used this one, and it's called... Peppermint sledding. So I don't know if you can tell from the picture, but these are candy canes roped together that they're sledding on. So I thought that would, oh, forgive my nails, they're awful. thought that would be appropriate for winter fun. And then this one I felt like was a sleepover and they're all bundled up in a little winter hat with their teddy bears, mice, I don't know, and their stuffed ducky and a little ball. Um, snow cap nap. They're taking a nap in uh, winter. So those are the two stamps I used. And this is the first card. Um, I used some um, now retiring, well actually retiring, it might already be gone, I don't know, it was in the year-end clearance. The Feels Like Frost retiring paper. I don't know what I got on there. Um, so that this is part of that which has it was um in last year's holiday catalog and this one i believe this is the piece i used so it's this piece flip no no it isn't i'm sorry it's one like that only darker and then when you flip it over it has the silver with white dots here here it is yeah well that's a piece of it <laughs> that's what it looked like but that's the other side I got something. Oh, I rubbed the foil off there. Yeah. Anyway, that's what I used. And then this is specialty paper by Tarnic Studios that I've had in my stash for some time. It's Craft Perfect Tonic Studios. Um, just says A4 handcrafted cotton papers, but I don't know what they call this one. Let me see it say on here snowdrop meadow snowdrop meadow is what this one is okay snowdrop meadow and then um i had already colored this and i sort of fussy cut it out and i was trying to figure out how to make it look and then i kind of wished i hadn't cut it out but then i didn't want to redo it so i used the um Freezing fun for the sentiment. Life's better when we're having fun together. And also just for this. Now this is in also the retiring products. Year-end clearance. I don't know if this was discounted or not. But this bundle is retiring. So I used this to get the slope uh, out of that specialty paper by Tonic. And this is just... A full four and a quarter by five and a half piece of the feels like frost and then this is seaside spray which is what I use to color the background here of the snow and then I took my um, new Stampin' Up! blending brush that'll be available in a set of 
three, I believe it is, um, January 5th, they're expected to sell out quickly. So if you want them, get your order in quickly. <laughs> Um, they are expected to go on back order pretty fast. Anyway, I took Seaside Spray and went over the Tonic Studios paper to give it that a hint of that same color. So here I used Real Red and Shaded Spruce Light. Um, crumb Cake Dark on the rope there, there, and there. I used Gray Granite Light and Dark for the Mice. Um, what's that called um i always forget petal pink light and dark for their cheeks ears hands feet um and then this little one is done in crumb cake dark over top gray granite because i thought you know what we can't really differentiate the two <laughs> so that's what i did and then I just used the regular rhinestone gems uh, from Stampin' Up! here. And this is an oval, um, layering oval, from the layering ovals by Stampin' Up! And then on the inside of this one, sorry for the glare and shadow, I just put another strip of that uh, silver polka dotted paper. That's really bugging me now. Anyway, so that's the first one. And then the second one... Actually, I'll just leave that over here. The second one is here. Now, this card base is not Stampin' Up. It is from scrapbook.com. I'm still trying to work through my cards and envelopes in my stash. I'm getting there, guys. So, these are, it says Nina Solar White, 80-pound paperweight. They are nice and heavy. This is a piece of designer paper also retiring. It's a Snowflake Splendor paper that looks like this on one side and this on the other. I use this um, stitched rectangle dies. I believe I use the largest one. Oops, I have glue or something on me now too. The largest one and the third largest one. Um, stamp these guys out and then... Um, did the stitch rectangle and then colored it actually um, so this is glued down onto the card after I wrap this ribbon around and this ribbon is from it's Knight of Navy it's part of the playing with patterns combo pack there were three uh, ribbon and twines in there one five two four six eight that's in the annual catalog so that should be available through April of 2021 and I just tied a little fake knot there. And then this is punched out. It's stamped. Uh, that's also from the Freeze and Fun stamp set. Sending warmth your way. Freeze and Fun. That's the retiring bundle. Uh, and retiring both the stamps and dies. And then this is a new available January 5th, which is only a few days away by the time you're seeing this. Double oval punch in the January to June mini catalog. It's 154242. There is a coordinating stamp set. I can't remember what it is right at this moment. Um, and I stamped in Night of Navy, sending warmth your way. And then I punched out the top layer in Coastal Cabana, which is one of the colors in this background paper. This is actually Light Pool Party. This is um, light and dark Bermuda Bay and then I did take the um, I was thinking later I should have made it baseball colored right I took the ink lifter color lifter and just lifted a little color out of the middle but not all of it this is uses um, mango melody and so saffron on the ducky this is crumb cake uh, the little paws and the mouth are ivory on that one and this one. I think this one's done more in dark crumb cake with just a little bit of light. And this one's done more in light crumb cake um, with a little um, flirty flamingo in their ears, nose, and everything. And I guess it's a stuffed mouse because look at the tail. <laughs> but it looked like it had bear paws. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, these guys are done in, I think, gray granite, light and dark. 
in petal pink again, light and dark for their faces. And then the hat, <laughs> I accidentally started using light night of navy. I meant to use misty moonlight, but it's okay. And then this, I went over with the uh, light night of navy where the creases were in the dark areas, but I colored it in with um, balmy blue and I can't remember if that was the light or the dark it was only one of them I think the light because I wanted it to look light and fluffy no I'm sorry this was the dark balmy blue blended in with the uh, light night of navy and then this was done the little pom-pom was done with light balmy blue so that's it. And then on the inside, I actually just put a whole nother sheet. I didn't use the stitched rectangles because I felt like that was light enough to write on, but it gave it a little more something, something. It may look a little warmer, I guess, although kind of cool colors. So those are my first two collab cards for 2021 for winter fun. I'm not as happy with this one it's it didn't turn out how my brain envisioned it and <laughs> my uh, my mind saw it but um yeah i have trouble that way sometimes getting what's in my mind out to reality so um we will post at on, on at 10 a.m eastern on the first of each month for the house mouse collab so and we have a different theme each month so do come back and see what all the themes are and um, please also do check everyone else there's not a whole long list only like six or so five or six people right now anyway in, in the collaboration and um, I have closed all my collabs temporarily uh, just because it was getting confusing I was adding people and dropping people and um, so we have closed them until April 1st if you are interested in joining, you can email me now and I'll put your name on a list and then I'll let you know closer to April 1st and see if you still want to be included and then we can add you at that time. So I can do one revision at that time and that'll be true with all my uh, collabs that I'm hosting or co-hosting. We're just going to close them right now until April 1st to, for new collaborators. Um, and some of them, this one is smaller, so it's easier, but some of them are much larger, a lot, lot more people participating, and it really gets confusing to keep sending out revisions to the link list and things like that. So anyway, it's closed. And I digress. I hope you have a wonderful, safe, healthy, happy as can be new year in 2021. Um, let's just do everything we can and like the blessing jar video I put up, count our blessings every day and try and um, remain as positive as you can. That's good for your health too. All right, everyone, take care. Hugs, love, and peace.